Today marks our dear friend Dr. Zoidberg's tenth year with Planet Express. Huzzahs are in order! Huzzah! Huzzah! Huzzah. Coupons! I can get two oil changes for the price of one. Now if I could only afford the one. And the car. Now here's your pension statement. It's empty because you haven't paid into it, you dumb stink bug. I don't see you planning for your old age. I got plans. I'm gonna turn my on-off switch to off. I've gotta start investing wisely. Well, down to my last lottery ticket. Crud. You're opening a retirement account for six dollars? I'm sure a wealthy <laughs> mule farmer like yourself is aware that we charge a ten dollar monthly fee. Roberto, is that you? Benda! Hey, man! <laughs> Everybody on the floor! Hey, you! Red! Quit watering that plane, get the door! <gasps> Thanks, buddy! <laughs> Now, my caddy chauffeur informs me that a bank is a place where people put money that isn't properly invested. My memory's a little fuzzy, but it went exactly like this. <gasps> That's the real robber, and I'll never forget his name as long as I live. And that name is... <gasps> yes. What? You say if I testify, I'll be killed? Oh, it's for you. What do you say we plead insanity? Counselor, what evidence do you offer to support this new plea of insanity? Well, for one, they done hired me to represent them. Insanity plea is accepted. Just send them both to the robot loony bin and let's go. <laughs> oh, good! A physical! Once they examine my fragile, naked, pink body, they'll see I'm not a... What the? Oh, they do 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 do. I'm all squishy and flabby. Also, I complain a lot. Yes, you do. You need to relax more. Wow! I'm Nurse Ratchet. Please come with me, won't you? <laughs> He's very excitable, so don't say anything to surprise him. Whoa, someone had a busy day. My roommate exploded. Oh, you gotta help me, Bender. How can I prove I'm human? Fry, meet Norm. How's it going, pal? Still picking up transmissions from the CIA on your teeth? They just won't stop! And this here is Frankie. He's convinced he's a lunchroom worker, so they put him to work in the lunchroom. Change places! Bender, I can't take much more of this. I want out of here. But I'm not a robot like you. I don't like having discs crammed into me. Unless they're Oreos. And then only in the mouth. The doctor says you are making great strides with your exploding problem. Well, the way I see it. We're all trying to help you. We petitioned the governor, but he doesn't want to appear soft on people who've been falsely imprisoned. Uh, at least I have friends on the outside. Time for our medication discs. You are being released. Finally! Sweet justice! Sweet, juicy justice! Not you. Him. Are we ready to meet our new roommate? Now stand back, I gotta practice my stabbing. Ha <laughs> ha! No! Please! Help! Stop it! Police! <laughs> You'll notice he no longer suffers delusions of humanity. Affirmative. I feel nothing. I am a robot. I must be a robot. Why else would human women refuse to date me? Oh, lots of reasons. Listen to me, Fry. Just because you think you're a robot doesn't make you a robot. After all, I think I'm a doctor, but that doesn't make me a doctor. <laughs> Aha! And down the stretch, it's Daddy's Little Grandpa, followed by Perennial Loser. Remember all that squealing I didn't do? Remember? Do ya? Yeah, yeah. Now lie down and play dead, and don't ham it up. <laughs> so when were you planning a breakout? I'm thinking maybe a few seconds ago. Quick! Let's keep escaping! <laughs> oh, you sad, worthless human! Relax, mammal! My robotic software shall meet your calculatory needs. What is the meaning of this symbol? 
That's a plus sign, you pointy head loony! Stand back. I'm a toolbot. <sighs> yes, I am. I simply haven't discovered my primary function yet. Fry, this is for you. Beep. Oh, for God's sake. Thanks for helping me escape, Bender. That ah, was nothing. It was not nothing! I want to repay you. Let me get you something in here. Give me the remaining dough and all the calendars and that pan. Try to tear it so most of the beads are on my end. Come on, I got a place where I like to hide after crimes. <laughs> nice to meet you. Come out with your hands up. Hostages! Take me first. Yes, take her first. Shut up. Stop telling me how to do this. Back off. I got hostages. Hooray, I'm helping. Don't kill me yet. I'm starting to come down with Stockholm Syndrome. Ansem. He's too powerful. Negative, bossy meat creature. I know now what my primary function is. I am a battle droid. <laughs> Did it, Fry. Congratulations, buddy. You're a credit to my race. It was nothing. I ah, I'm a human. Also good. Thanks for saving us, Fry. Just like inside me, I've got the heart of a human. Oh. Oh. What? <sighs> Lisa, this is going too slow for me. And I work at the DMV. Now it's ruined. Bart, this isn't a photograph. I'm not just gonna paint you into my... Oh! <gasps> not to worry. As a supervising parent today, you'll get your share of the blame, too. <laughs> what do I do? Patty's gonna kill me! Oh, fine, whatever. I'll just keep cutting till I hit something solid. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> What happened to you? Oh, who undid my do? You did this? With your fat fingers and your brain the size of a Super Bowl? Do me. <laughs> I meant my hair. Oh. Oh. Idiot. Just days. What's wrong, man? Something happened last night. It has a chapter before chapter two. A chapter where we meet Nemo's mother. If death can happen to a fish, it can happen to anyone. So you've got to live life while you can. Homer, thanks to your unlicensed barbary, Patty and Selma have been getting compliments all day at the DMV. Lady, I'm not a hairdresser. I just put a new lid on a couple of trash cans. <laughs> wow. 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 And it'll look good in the morning, too. Are you sure you don't have a salon? Well, I... Well, Newsweek magazine did say it's good to change careers right after they laid off all their editors. Lisa Simpson is the smartest, sweetest, most perfectest girl in the whole world. Teacher said don't eat the paste is apt to make you spew. Some maid so fair with crimson dress and pointy hair. I'm sorry, but I don't love you, Millhouse, and I never will. I'm Taffy. Would you like to help me roll the theremin back to the AV closet? It's a date. Funny how my Timothy always uses the short form baptism when there's a basketball game he wants to watch. The worst know-it-all. I'm sorry, honey. All day long I have to listen to women talk. Not a good time. When you pick him up, make sure you bend your knees. You know so much about body mechanics. Well, why would a popular fifth grader like Taffy be interested in a mill house like Mill House? Mm -hmm. It's one of those mysteries. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. I know Kirk resents that the dog likes me more. I don't want a conversation. Oh? I just want you to listen while I talk about the loser I'm married to. All day long, they tell me stupid, pointless, boring stories, and I have to.
Can you make me look fancy? Sorry, Sarah, I'm retired. But tonight's the policeman's ball. Stop that! Okay, okay, you win. I'll teach you how to make love to your wife. Here, pal, and saw off my hands. Why don't you do here what you do with the nuclear plant? Namely, suck. Suck? God, like Mozart and Johnny Knoxville, my genius cannot be stopped. <laughs> hey, that's Taffy's page. Ooh, I see that she's in a relationship. Shut up. Taffy's up to something. And I won't find out what it is sitting at a computer. It's time to get boots on the ground. <sighs> Marge, do you hear it? Listen, it's the hair. Growing, always growing, blonde. <laughs> Here, my love. <gasps> Thank you. Anything for my silly Millie. Oh, I am never going to get my homework done tonight. In the sack, he's Salisbury steak. Everywhere else, creamed corn. We're over. You're not over. You never were. Millhouse, you're a great guy. But we're not going to work out for one reason. He likes his apple pie warm and his a la mode cold. Good luck. You don't want me to be with you. Lisa, does this mean you like me? Yes. No. I don't know. Mr. Homer J. and Mrs. Marge Bouvier Simpson. Oh! oh. oh. My wife has betrayed me with another hairdresser. Oh. No. Another hairdresser? Who is it? We must know. Okay, first five customers get a discount. Next five hear secrets about the first five. <laughs> Come on, get in line. <laughs> as long as it doesn't involve losing weight or changing my pants.